There's somebody that wants to talk to you, Jim. Okay. Lady Die. Hi, how's everything? Oh, it's Hi. great. Hi. Yeah, you're on the air, Hi, buddy. Lady Die. I, I already know that. I already know that. <laughs> oh, good. Here's my Lady Di, uh, a lot of people don't know this. We want to bring everybody inside. Lady Di was on hold today for two and a half hours. Oh, wow. Yeah, two, <laughs> two and a half hours? Two and a half hours. Oh, okay. <laughs> what's so, up, Lady Di? What's, go, what's going on? Two and a half hours, but that's okay. Well, no, I mean, it was two and a half, but go on. All right, yeah. Uh, is Jim Norton still there? Yeah, yeah, I'm right here. Hi, Jimmy. Hi. I loved your show. <laughs> Thank you. Jim, uh, I don't know if you know this or not, but yesterday I got I started following. Do you follow Lady Di on Twitter? Of course I do. Okay, well, I don't know why she direct messaged me then. She direct messages me a lot. She does? I love it. <laughs> Anthony wants you to direct message him. Yeah, have you not direct oh, no, messaged no, Anthony? No, no, no. No, no, he does not want me to do that anymore. I yeah. directed him one message. Die, he's joking. He's joking. Do he's Opie kidding. Was, Opie was actually bothered that you don't... Uh, PM him because he's like, why is she talking to Anthony and not me? Like I, you know, I've been friends with her for just as long. It gets really jealous and weird. Wait a minute, hold on, hold on. Anthony told me not to do it with him. Yeah, that was a joke. That, no, the reason he said that Opie. is because you're not right. doing it to Opie, and Opie's giving him shit. Like, how come Diane is talking to you and not me? Oh, okay. Do you want me? Do you want me to DM him too? Yeah, because Anthony? what happens yes. is when you when you send start sending messages to Anthony. And then Opie yeah. finds out he's not getting direct messages from you. It makes him feel like you don't like him as much, and he's sensitive to that shit. Oh. You know how Opie is. He's just weird about I, this stuff. I am so sorry about that. Okay, I'll DM, I'll DM him, too. DM yeah, him. You should. Uh, and then Ant will be fine with it, but it's just, you know, the, you can't do one and not the other. They start to want to start, you know, it's like they want to both know that they're respected and liked and, you know, equally. Right, right. I, got a, I got an interesting DM from uh, Lady Di yesterday. She was asking for your phone number, Jim. She asked me if I could send her uh, your phone number. Yeah, I had some. No, 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 not Jim Norton's phone number. No, 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 not his phone you number. You said Jim from the, the show for, for your show because I was on hold yesterday, too. Right. Well, you have the phone number. She sent me 10 DMs already <laughs> since October 31st. Oh, Every... you know what? I'm, I'm still new to the Twitter thing. Oh, no, it's fine. They're oh, all yeah, delightful. Keep them coming. I apologize about all the Twitter stuff. Lady like, Dot, you were at Jim's uh, comedy show over the weekend, correct? Andrew Dice Clay, yeah, last weekend. I, I, I thought it was funny because Jim had a story. Uh, he, he spotted you in the audience. You and uh, Marion. Excuse me? You yeah. and Marianne were in the audience, and I went out to watch Dice, and you both started going, Hi, how are you? And I had to go back into the dressing room. No, was that in the middle of we Dice's did. set? Yeah. yeah okay. We did do that. We did do that. Yes, you did. No. Was there any thought, was there any thought Lady Di, about uh, how Dice performing on stage would react to two mongoloids in the crowd saying, How are you? Wait a minute. Hold on a second. Sure. Is this Anthony? Yes, this is Anthony. You know, Di... No, 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 you sound like Anthony. I don't know. Here's what you got to do. If you He's going to be very insulted by if that. You, if you want to give Anthony... If you want to give Ant your number, the way to do it is... Uh, but you have to be careful. you got to do it right. You don't want to Twitter it because then everybody will see it. <laughs> but you want to send it out to Anthony on Twitter, but put two periods after it. Because if you put two periods after it, it only he'll get it. After it. Okay. I, mean, so, I, I don't know. I, how about I, this? Know, I, I don't know about these things. Send send out, tweet your number, but put two periods after. What? Two periods after. Okay. Yeah, but you have to put the two periods. Right. No. Okay. Why would you do that? Because uh, <laughs> you have to. Because what happens is, if you put oh, two no. periods after it, uh, it yeah. will it will just go out. I think as a private message. You won't. It won't be. But yet, you know. I thought direct message was a private message. Yeah, but direct message a lot of times people can get into. I don't trust direct message. So what method do you trust? If I have something private to say to somebody, I tweet it with two periods after. But there after has to be the two, two periods after kind of like makes it a private thing. Uh, it doesn't go all the way out. Okay. See, you know, I, 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 I'm... And you're saying Anthony needs her phone number. Yeah, Aunt, Aunt, Aunt will call you, but he's not going to yell at you, but he would just straighten it out. I mean, but just send him the tweet and see what he says. You want me to send him my phone number and send him the tweet? Yeah. So you're saying direct message is not the way to go? Nah, I don't like direct message. Oh. <laughs> you got to be kidding, right? No. Now, Lady uh, Di, 
did you yeah. take any consideration uh, to the fact that Andrew Dice Clay was on stage performing while you and uh, Marion were a couple of overweight hyenas in the crowd going, How are you, Jim? Jim, no, over wait, wait, here. Wait, hold on, hold on. Yeah. We didn't do that through the whole entire show. Oh, just for part of it. For once. Yeah, just for the fun. No, no, we did not do that through the whole entire show. But just yeah. just for some of it. In the beginning, when Jim Norton went up there. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. So it wasn't like a. It was like a minor interruption. One more thing. Also, we tried to film the show. I tried to film the show. <laughs> oh, from the audience. Yeah, from the audience. Oh, You're great. Supposed, you were allowed to do that because you were with us. So you you should have done that. Kenny. Asked me if I'm filming the show. I said, nope, and I shut it off. No, that's wrong. Kenny should shut up. Here's what you got to do. Send Aunt what? your information now. Um, send Aunt my information now? Yeah, send Aunt your information now, because he's in the meeting. He'll be out in a couple of minutes. What do you mean? Send, 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 send him your number so he can call you and straighten it out while he's in the truck. He's not going to call me. Yeah, he will, actually. No, he won't. All right, you would know. I'm telling you what he said. I'm telling you what he said. Di, you have a real defeatist attitude going into this thing, and it's the same reason why, you know, you're having trouble getting work. It's the same reason why things are... When you have a defeatist attitude... Yeah, or the handest. Wait a minute. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Um, What I'm going to do is... I already applied in the place two days ago. You have a job. No, I don't have a job yet. Oh. Got to interview me. Where'd you apply uh, to? The, uh, uh, the Burger King down the street. <laughs> okay. I mean, it, it's a, no. Oh, I thought I'm it was kidding. just a joke. You're kidding? You're, are you kidding or? No, no, I'm serious. I really applied over there. Oh, now, I'm, why I'm, did it take you six months to apply to a job at Burger King? Wait a minute. Hold on. Okay. Why did it take me six months to apply to a job at Burger King? I don't know. I just asked you. Yeah, what are you, the Burger Queen or something? Go ahead, Di. Is this this Sam? Who am I talking to? You're talking to Sam, Jim, and Chip Chipperson. Oh, okay. Okay. What's up, Di? Uh, Di, it's Chipper. Just listen to me. Hey, Di, it's Chipper. I love your stuff. Hey, Di, uh, Rick in Connecticut has something to add. He was sitting behind you at the Jim and Dice show that you were at over oh, the weekend. What that was Sam, okay. professional broadcaster, and Chippa. Hello, Chippa. What's up, man? How you doing? I'm doing all right. Keep How you rocking till okay. your cock Ex- starts knocking. What are you talking about? Just okay. <laughs> Rick, I need you to ignore Chip. He's a, a hindrance here. And is only looking to muck up the works, yeah, so to speak. Yeah, fucking mongoose. Uh, I don't know. No, keep quiet for a second. Whatever. Yeah, Rick, talk to me about uh, about going to the Jim and Dice show. You yeah, were sitting guys, behind Lady Di. What happened? For, for, first of all, the Jim and Dice show was was awesome, legendary. Chip, you did a great job. Fuck yeah. <laughs> Go ahead, Di. You tell him. Lady Di. Di? Yes? Every time Jimmy looked towards Lady Di? Our uh, uh, yes. way of we wait. Lady <laughs> one at a time, oh. Diane. Yeah, Diane, tell him. And we wait. Diane, one at a time. Yeah. Rick. Yeah. No, Lady. Diane, one at a Lady. time. Yeah. I'm going to go to Rick right now. Yeah. What'd you say, okay. Die? Hey, Lady Die, shut up. I wait. Like, right. <laughs> you talk the whole time. Yeah, be quiet, I Diane. I can't hear you, Diane. What'd you say? Go ahead, Rick. Hey, now. You got to send Lady. your number to Anthony. <laughs> Lady Di talked the whole entire time. Bobo was sitting in front of her. Oh. She was wave, waving like a friggin' retard to Jimmy every time he looked over to us. She, she was trying to... What was she, she talking about the entire show? She, she was talking about... I was with my cousin Phil. She was like, oh, he, he's, too, he's too young for me. I can't take him home. Oh, uh, I remember now. <laughs> <laughs> Diane, I remember. I remember. were you talking every, for the entire comedy show? Every, no, I was just talking to the people behind yeah. me. Yeah. Why would you talk? It's a comedy every, show. And then every time know, she, got up, she saw her uh, large white underwear, <laughs> and it, it was it was it was fucking terrible. Go ahead, Di. Di, you got to send Aunt your information. It's Jim again. Di, answer me this: Were you wearing large white underwear? Well, I'm a large person. Yeah. And it was white, so he did. He did, in fact, see her underwear throughout the evening. Oh my God! And, and then, and then, and then, she drank probably a six pack, and the people, and the people standing up in the aisle next to us. Wait, 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 wait! Where did she drink the six pack? She drank the six pack in the theater. 
<laughs> no, wait, wait a minute. Know about it. Yeah, oh, yeah, you die. Know. I got the beer from the stand. Oh, fuck yeah. Fuck yeah, Chippa. She, she, she drank oh. a six-pack, and she was handing the garbage to the people in the aisle to throw yeah, away from Yeah, her. that I did. Like, <laughs> that I did. <laughs> like, she was fucking yeah, a first-class yeah, citizen. All right, thanks, Rick. It's such yeah. a crazy day. I did that. I did that. Diane, why don't you throw out your own trash? I don't know. I didn't feel like getting up and... Oh, you're such a... Just a... Lump. You're a nudge. Jimmy, Jimmy, I tried to film the show. <laughs> all the time show. But Kenny kept on... He was stopping me from filming Oh, yeah, no, you should be able to film the show. It's your privilege. But you were you were talking throughout the show. You wanted to film it. You Do you understand that when you buy tickets to a yeah. comedy show, die, right. when you buy tickets to a comedy show, you don't yeah. now have rights over the entire auditorium. Yeah, but you know me. You're, you're, you're buying admission to experience a show with a community of people. Do you have to right. you have to take right. note of them? So when you're right. yapping the whole time, when you're drinking a six pack, when you're giving your garbage to the to the ushers, when you're trying to film the show and Kenny has to come over to you, don't you realize that you're being a disruptance? Um, I guess I was. I don't know. Yeah. I mean, I, I, mean, I tried. I tried to. Film. I just hold on. I just got a text from Anthony, who's in the back in a meeting listening, saying, "Why won't she send it?" What is Aunt looking for her to send? She said what? You're, I told you to send I your number? number to him. No. Wait a minute. Hold, hold on. on. There's this whole thing because you DM'd <laughs> Anthony and you didn't DM Opie. So Opie's gi giving Anthony shit about it. So then Aunt's telling you don't DM him. So I'm telling you, he's like, well, have her because he's not going to give you his number until you send yours. So you, you send. No, yes, but you got to send Aunt your number first. Just what you do is you put it out like it's a message to Anthony on Twitter, but make sure you put two periods after it. Hold on, hold on. Say that one more time. Are yes. you on? Are you on? Are you on Twitter right are you now? On your Twitter right now? Uh, no, I'm not on Twitter right now. I'm on the phone. Well, go on Twitter right now while we're talking to you. I can't. All right, I'm well, on the phone. Go to. Here's what you do. Go to Twitter, and you know how you send Anthony a message publicly. Right, right. Do put your number there, but put two periods after. You have wait, to wait, put wait, two period, period, period. My, my home phone number. Right, right, and put two periods no. after that. Yeah. Wait a minute. I'm, I'm, you know what? If I do this, it's going to be a private message. It's going to be a direct message. To it's Anthony. Going to be direct. Yeah. It's going to be direct. Yeah. yeah. What? Your cell, do your cell phone, not your home phone, your cell phone. How long ago did you apply to the job at Burger King, Diane? Uh, about maybe three or four days ago right now. Okay, and are you looking for a full-time position or a part-time, or what exactly are you looking for over there? Uh, they're, they're, probably, they're not going to give me a full-time position. I already know that. All right, All right. I got to go to the gym. Goodbye, Lady Di. I have to go. All right, Jim is leaving. Say goodbye to him, Di. Bye, Jimmy. Since you're going to insult Anthony... Um, uh, no, 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 I'm not going to insult no, you. I'll just give you a little bit of a hard time. I don't have an idea. Just oh, Craig, Craig, Craig. You want to do a Craig's conundrum before we go? No. Hey, wait a second. Oh, if, I wish I had a commercial break to throw to, but I don't. Who's who's buried at Grant's tomb? Shit, go about it. Grant is. That's why it's Grant's wait tomb. And then after... Hold I on a second. I was doing a Craig's conundrum. Diane, would you like to participate? Uh, Craig Schenkel has just entered the studio. Craig Schenkel. Hello, Craig Schenkel. I'm Craig Schenkel. Craig is a he's a TV personality. I do conundrums, and he's got a game that he wants to play. Diane, would you like to play? What game? Go it's called it's called Craig's Conundrums, where I give out like brain teasers and such, and you have to kind of come up with <laughs> what's what? it's it's a it's a brain teaser game. So we're gonna go ahead and play Craig's Conundrums here on the after show. Here comes Craig Schenkel and our contestant Lady Di. Go ahead, okay, Craig. Dad, who's buried at Grant's tomb? Shinkle about it. You almost just asked Grant. Did she get it right, Craig? She, she must have heard that word. All right, we'll do another one. Diane, that was a practice round. We're going to do one more. Here we go. Craig's conundrums. Okay. Okay, go ahead. If two people leave the Baltimore train station at the same time, but they go different routes, which one gets to New York um, City excuse first? Excuse me, you're going to have to repeat that. <laughs> Okay. If, Repeat the question. If two people leave Baltimore on the train at the same time, but they're going 
to, to New York. We suppose we'll get there first if there's stuff for routes taken. Shinkle about it. Which one, Diane, will get there first? A shinkle about it. Diane, we are going to need an answer. Time. Repeat that one more time, please. Repeat that one more time. Craig, I, I last time, repeat the question, and then we're going to need an answer, Diane. If two okay. people leave a train, right, if two people leave a Baltimore train station at the same time, but they're headed to New York City, which one of them will get to New York first, train A or train B? But they're going different routes. Shinkle about it. Which one is it, Diane? Train A or train B? Shinkle about it. Shinkle about it. Yeah, we asked you to do that. Oh, boy. Yeah. I still didn't understand the question. Well, go ahead. Train A or train B? Shinkle about it. Shinkle train about a, it first. Train A, train A, train A. That's absolutely correct. <laughs> you failed Craig's conundrums. Oh, I'm sorry, Diane. You failed Craig's conundrums. Now, Diane, let me ask, who, what's the name of the man you live with again? His name is Bill. You what? and Bill are sexual together, yes? No. Not now or not ever? Not ever, really. Well, what's really? No, uh, not ever. No, you said not ever really. So are we talking about, like, I'm talking, have you ever made out with Bill? Have you ever kissed him on the mouth? Ah, uh, yeah, in the beginning. You have. What about, uh, have you ever had your mouth on or near his genitals? No. Ha Diane. What? We know the truth. Yeah. You ever suck his big pecker? Tell the truth. <laughs> no. you, yeah, you, you did. You did, didn't you? And it's fine if you did, by the way. So just vaginal intercourse then. No, nothing like that. Nothing. Really, I'm serious. J just mouth kissing? Yeah, that's it. You ever give him uh, a hand job? No. How big is how big is his penis? I don't know. Tell me the truth. I don't know. Do you want to apologize to the audience that you were for for what for your behavior at Jim's uh, comedy show? Uh, yeah, I, I, apologize, I apologize to everybody, but what am I apologizing about? Your, your inappropriate behavior. You're talking, you're drinking, I you're... I try to film the show. You're, you're filming? And I tried, and Kenny stopped me. Have you been drinking this morning a little bit? Huh? Yeah, a little bit. Why? A little bit. What are we drinking? Natty Ice? Uh, uh, I, I mean, what, what do you think? Pop one open! Ha <laughs> 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 ha, <laughs> glug, 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 glug. Hold on, Phil, give me a natty ice. <laughs> get, get a natty ice from Bill. Let's pop one open for the after show. Okay. All right, let's pop one open. There. Okay, hold on a second. Okay, here it comes. You guys are drinking, I know that. Already. We're drinking. Glug, glug, glug. Oh, that's good stuff. No, you're not. Go you're ahead. Not Go ahead, Diane. Pop it open. What? Well, if Bill gets it for me, I'll pop it open. Hurry up, Bill. Get that cock over here with a, one of those natty ices. Tell him. <laughs> Say, Bill, get that cock over here with one of those beers. Yeah, hurry up. <laughs> Tell him to get the cock over here. Oh man. Yeah, I'm just kidding. You guys are you guys are crazy. I know you're just kidding. We're just we're all just it's all in good fun. Thirty more to go. Thirty more to go. Yeah. Thirty, 30 more to go. We're gonna finish him today. Let's pop it open. All right. Yeah. He said, "Let's pop it open. We're gonna finish him today." That's right. We're partying, baby. Are we going to do it or what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, the thing about Twitter. Uh, yeah. Do you pop it open? <laughs> oh, wait, 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 hold on. What, what's, what's wrong with Bill? Uh, no, no, he's just being a... Uh, Tell him to calm, calm that big cock of his down. What? Tell him to calm that big cock of his down. Yeah, the, the, Seth said calm down. No, 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 that's not what I said. Don't misquote me. All right, go ahead. Well, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna be nasty about it. Uh, Anthony on Twitter, nine oh eight. Well, my phone number, you know. Yeah, I was about oh, to say, I, I don't want, I don't want that on the air, Diane. No, 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 that's all right, that's all right. I'm not gonna say it. Don't be a fucking and, idiot, after all. Yeah, well. You know. And two periods at the end of the phone number, and then you'll get my phone number. Look, I gotta tell you something. Do you, you listen to the show, right, Diane? Yeah, I do. You always hear me talking about I hate Steven Singer. What? I hate Steven Singer, and people wonder why do you hate him so much. Is that right? Who's Steven Singer? <laughs> the reason that you're going to hate Steven Singer, they come in many colors this holiday season. Have you heard about this, Diane? No. Many colors of diamonds. 
That's right. Steven Singer has a brand new collection of colored diamonds starting at just $249. Lady Di, what do you think of that? Oh, that's wonderful. You can choose from sky blue diamonds, green diamonds, yellow diamonds, black diamonds, and more. Hold on. Hold on. Yeah. Hold on. You, have, you have to understand something. Right. I don't have XM Satellite Radio. Right. Well. I'm, pro- I'm probably the only one out of all your fans that doesn't have the XM Satellite. Sure. I mean, that makes it tough to be a fan. No matter which color or size you pick, you're going to come out a hero. Diane, you have to get the woman in your life a great gift. And you want it to be yeah. great. You want it. I have to have no woman in my life. Well, I mean, I don't know. I, I guess I made a judgment call there. The more you procrastinate in buying her a gift, Diane, the guiltier you're going to feel. The guiltier you feel, the bigger the present you're going to have to buy. So take my advice. Are you going to take my advice, Diane? I'll, I'll take your advice. I'll, Check out advice. Stephen's new selection of colored diamonds. What color are you thinking about, Diane? Diamond. Right. <laughs> These are diff- That's my birthstone. These are really different. Gifts like the sky blue diamond circle necklace or the sunshine yellow diamond circle necklace they started only 249 dollars wouldn't you like it if old wild bill picked you up a diamond sky blue necklace he won't do that he won't that's Ah. unfortunate you can go see the entire collection diane of colored diamonds you don't have the internet so you can go to the library and uh go online to ihatestevensinger.com Good news I for you. Internet. It's on my phone. It's always fast and free shipping, even to you, Lady Di. Isn't that great? Yes. Take my advice. Get okay. the woman in your life a great gift. All right. Steven Singer Jewelers, the other corner of 8th and Walnut, 1-888-I-HATE-STEVEN-SINGER or online at I hate Steven Singer dot com. You going to get okay. something like that? You going to ask for Bill to get you a little something like that? I will. Bill, can you get me a diamond ring? Yeah. The, <laughs> he said, get I, I the fuck out of here. <laughs> Look, on that here. note, Diane, we're going to take off. What? I appreciate you being here. Ron oh, and Fez are no coming problem. up next. <laughs> oh, no oh. problem, she says. Goodbye, everybody.